right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Male. So for today, I'm going to go over an article titled, 15 Women Reveal the Shameless Reasons They Baby Trapped Their Men. And guys, this article is going to go through 15 detailed reasons. It, it explains the different scenarios of how, again, the woman, she wanted the guy and the different things she did to ensure that she baby trapped him. And so the reason I'm doing this, guys, is that for those of you guys that are dating and hooking up and all that, you got to be careful, okay, because this does happen. And by the way, this is written by a woman. So that shows you it isn't total BS here, okay? And also, I've had women email me from time to time asking me to do a video on this, okay? So this is an issue. It does happen. So all along through this article, guys, I want you to keep in mind three important things. Number one, always wear protection. I don't care what the situation is, okay? I don't care if she says she's on the pill, always wear protection. Number two, always provide your own protection, okay? Make sure they're, they are yours because, again, I've heard stories where a woman gives the guy the condom, but surprise, she wants to get pregnant, pokes a hole in it. No joke. And number three, guys, I want you to remember, always dispose of your protection when you're done, Okay? You make sure you flush that thing down the toilet out to sea, okay? Don't just toss it in the trash can and leave. You can't take any chances. It's insane that you got to do all this bullshit, but you got to protect yourself. So keep that in mind throughout as I read this story. So, article starts off saying, Some women are taking crazy to a whole new level with the increasingly popular trend of baby trapping. For those who don't know, to baby trap, someone means to get pregnant on purpose so the man will stay with them. Having a child together creates a lifelong connection and often makes it harder to break up. I mean, how can you get mad after holding that bundle of joy in your arms, right? It says, women are poking holes in condoms, assuring their partners that they are on the pill, and taking out their IUDs without warning their significant other. They are even getting pregnant by other men and telling their boyfriend that the baby is his. Not surprisingly, this is just one of the reasons why young, healthy, and rich men are reportedly now choosing to have elective vasectomies. Keep that in mind, guys. So that they don't have to worry about women who would seek them out to baby trap them in order to gain financial security and status. I just wish these women understood that babies aren't weapons nor tools to get what they want. Sometimes love may force you to do some crazy things, and before you actually know what you've done, it'll be too late. Love my ass. That's not love. That's bullshit. In any case, a baby will keep a man around just as effectively as using a piece of scotch tape, rolling it into a circle, and sticking it on both his ass and a chair. So here are the 15 different reasons. 15 reasons, guys. And it starts out with 15 and does a countdown. So, number 15, I got pregnant because he was going to leave. There's a classic one. The first reason is a classic one. Well, okay, that's just what I said. But shameless nonetheless. Women get pregnant on purpose so boyfriend doesn't leave her. Psychopath much? I think this is taking things too far and men should get a say in whether he fathers a child or not. Plus, there's no guarantees that he would stay anyway. Nothing stops him from leaving you anyway and still taking care of his child. Although it's completely normal to feel insecure in a relationship, it's still no reason to be deceptive. It's definitely not the foundation you want to build your relationship on. He will just end up resenting you and even possibly the child who is innocent in all of this. This child needs to know that it is loved and cherished and most definitely not a burden. All this resentment can make a relationship rot from the inside out. Damn right. Uh, number 14, I just wanted him to love me. I've heard of power struggles in relationships, but never like this. A woman got pregnant on purpose to force her husband to stay for the past 13 years and counting. <clears throat> she knew she had the child and threatened to leave with, with said child that she would have all the power. And she says in parentheses, I can practically hear the, the cacking laugh in the background. Now, good for him for stepping up to the plate and supporting his family. But is he happy? Is she? I've said this before, but it's worth repeating. Trapping a man into staying with you by having a baby might work, but it does not equal happiness. I wonder if at the heart of the entire baby trapping, there is not a secret desire to be loved and cherished forever. 
and to have someone to love and cherish back? If so, then they had a backwards way of going about it. Yeah, damn right. But she's speaking logic and reason, and she is trying to convince people they're using emotional reasons for their actions, so it's not going to work. Good luck. And not to mention selfish, to have financial security. Number 13. I doubt a baby would help. I, I thought a baby would help us feel closer. Yeah, a lot of times when couples, they uh, it runs its course, and the idea is like, hey, let's have a baby, and that'll, that'll give us purpose. I'll bring us closer. It doesn't. We've all heard this one before. A woman gets pregnant on purpose to save her relationship with her husband. Marriage is unarguably one of the hardest things, even when the couple has been together for numerous years. That's why you don't get married. It might seem like a good answer, but not so, according to experts. A lot of the time, people are feeling a loss of connection and love in their marriage. So they kind of hold this fantasy that if they have a child, that will bring everything back to being okay, said Debbie Bensing, a therapist in Portland, Oregon. In fact, 15% of new parents are divorced by three years after the birth of their first child. If you've already, already in a bad place in your marriage, adding more stress, even if it's the joyous addition of a cute baby, is never the answer. Babies should be welcomed into the strong, unified fold of the love of their parents. Number 12. I got pregnant so he would leave his wife. There's a big one, guys. So if you guys are cheating on your wives or girlfriends or partners, just be aware that girl is probably going to want to have you all to herself. She doesn't want to be the other woman forever. So be aware of this. These things do happen. It says here, no woman grows up wanting to be the other woman, but sometimes the heart wants what it wants, and so she ends up in this tumultuous affair. This, this does not, however, give her the right to con a man into leaving his wife, and possibly even children. A woman confessed to wanting to get pregnant on purpose so her married boyfriend would leave his wife. It says, girlfriend, let me clue you in on something. He might tell you how horrid his wife is, but if he really wanted to leave her, he would have done so already. This story only ends one way. With you having to be a single parent and handling off the ba handing off the baby every other weekend to the father and his happy, if not dysfunctional family. Let's hope she can pick up what's left of her dignity and go find a loving, single man to start her family with. Well, that would be too easy. There's no drama and excitement there. Number 11. I stopped taking the pill and never told him. Told you guys. I know three different, three friends of mine who are now parents, they're now fathers, have situations where their girlfriends, they were in their 30s, and just mysteriously by pure magic or divine intervention or who the hell knows what it is, got pregnant. Even though they were assured that they were on the pill. It's not an accident, guys. Woman is tired of taking birth control, so she just stops taking it and gets pregnant. This is the epitome of laziness. How does the saying go? Never attribute to malice to that which can be explained by stupidity. Girl, <laughs> it's funny how she writes this. Girl, there was a reason why you went on the pill in the first place. It was so you didn't get pregnant. Plus, it takes like 0.5 seconds to swallow one tiny pink pill a day. Plus, although it takes two to tango, and it's both the male and female responsibilities to ensure con con contraception if a baby isn't desired, there are other forms of birth control. If, you try to, uh, if, you, if you're tired of remembering to take your pill, all this accomplishes is the man feeling betrayed and confused. Distrust doesn't work in a relationship, and therefore it doesn't achieve anything. Number 10. I had one night stands so I could get pregnant. I, one of my exes from the early 2000s, sister, out of the blue, got pregnant one day. She'd been married and divorced within two years. Didn't work out because she, she wanted to have the whole be the bride thing. Then all her friends were having babies, so she wanted to have a baby. And out of the blue, she gets pregnant. And then year, later on in time, it comes about that basically she decides she wanted to get pregnant. So when she was the perfect time of month, went out one weekend and slept with three or four different dudes. True story. And big, big surprise, she got pregnant. And she raised a kid on her own. And then about six years later, for whatever reason, I'm not sure what it was, she had to find the father of the baby. So she had to track him down. And guess what? He had obviously had no idea that he had a kid out there. 
nor did his wife and other kids. So all the shit that was stirred up. So this does happen. Again, guys, wear your protection, provide your protection, and dispose of your protection. It says here, I heard of some pretty crazy reasons why women baby trap men, but none are more ludicrous and saddening than women having one night stands with men entirely of their choosing so they can father their children. They choose both physical and intellectual attributes for their future child. <clears throat> this was the case for a London businessman who received an email that basically read, I'm pregnant, it's yours, but don't worry, you won't be having any involvement and we won't be seeing each other anymore. Yeah, sure, until she needs money or there's some other reason down the road. He might have felt ambivalent about fatherhood before, but now that it was happening, he wanted a relationship with his child. Not being able to do so was described as traumatic for this businessman. This is very sad and tragic. There are enough men out there not taking their responsibility seriously. We don't need more, and it certainly shouldn't be fueled by these misguided women. Number nine. I got pregnant, so he would say, my mom, so he would stay, but my mom hates him. Mother-daughter relationships are very complex, and the two don't always agree, but this is taking it to a whole other level. A woman admits getting pregnant just because her mother didn't like her boyfriend and wanted him to stay for the long haul to annoy her mother. The whole mother-daughter thing is crazy sometimes. I mean, I get fathers and sons can butt heads. Usually it's when the father wants his son to get off his ass and, and be a man, take care of business and all that. But the mother-daughter thing, it's, it's crazy. In my house, my sister and mom always got along really well until my sister got married and had kids. And now they tend to, you know, butt heads over things. You know, but my mom, I love my mom, but she can be a handful. So it's two sides to every story here. It says here, I'm just speechless. This woman is so selfish. Maybe trapping a man into taking responsibility for another human being who will need him for at least the next 18 years, not to mention that this doesn't, what this does to the innocent child is just beyond me. And all for what? To teach your mom a lesson that she doesn't always know best? I find this deplorable. I know what you're thinking. Maybe these two lovers were destined to be together anyways, and she just sped up the process. But I still maintain that children are not tools. Having a baby should never be the answer for revenge. Number eight. I didn't want him to leave the state for college. Couples especially who met young and have been together a long time will go through many life-changing events together. How you navigate those events could determine the outcome of your relationship. One young woman shamelessly admits getting pregnant just so her boyfriend wouldn't leave her to go to college out of state. Although it's understandable that she'd be upset and even worries about the future of her relationship, that's no reason to baby trap a man into staying. Not only did he potentially lose the momentum of his academic career, because let's face it, even if he continues his studies at home, a baby is a very time consuming, but he also inherited a baby that he didn't necessarily want. This is not to mention his future. As amazing and rewarding as babies are, they're incredibly time consuming and financially draining to raise. So for you young guys that are in high school that are watching me, because I know I got some of you guys, or seniors in high school, you're 17, 18 years old, and you're about to go to college or the military, avoid these serious relationships, okay, guys? Because you don't need any shit dragging you down. The things you do now in your late teens to your mid-20s pretty much is going to set the course of how your life is going to go, okay? So don't get any serious relationships. Be extremely careful because girl gets pregnant for whatever reason. That changes everything, bro. So you don't need to do that. Be very careful. And if you don't believe me, trust me, just listen to what I have to say. You'll thank me later. All right, number seven. I just wanted to get married, so I got pregnant. How often does that happen, guys? <clears throat> A woman confessed to getting pregnant only so she could get married. I know we're taught to do anything in our power to achieve our goals, but there are limits. There are other ways to get to the altar, not that I foresee this marriage lasting anyway. This is a two-for-one scheme. Not only did she trap him into fatherhood, but also in holy matrimony. And she says in parentheses, she could get the child support and alimony. If I were him, I would, I would want to run in the opposite direction. Don't blame him afterwards if he isn't there waking up for the nightly diaper changes and feedings. 
There's no need for the, these manipulative games. There are plenty of men out there ready to tie the knot if they found the right girl, which is clearly not you. I like the woman who wrote this article here. I'm, I'm... Number six, he said he would never leave me. I wanted to know if he meant it. Women have come up with some pretty diabolical plans through the years to test their significant others' loyalty or truth behind what they tell them. But this one takes the top of the cake. A woman gets pregnant just to test her boyfriend was telling the truth when he said he'd always be there if she got pregnant. That's pretty psycho. Babies are not human lie detect babies are not human lie detector tests. I cannot say this enough. Deceit is never the answer. Anything that starts with a lie is doomed to fail. Not only does this screw him, but also her. This isn't like buying an expensive new pair of shoes that can be returned. This is a life commitment. And newsflash, men lie all the time. Although apparently, so do women. Well, thank you for saying that. There's an old joke that men tell the most lies, but women tell the biggest ones. But in this day and age, it goes both ways. What would have happened if he decided to have this child and then he leaves you and the baby? I'm sure you could, could come up with a better action plan. Number five, I thought he would leave to be with his kid's mom. It's definitely not easy to be part of a recon reconstituted family. Being a mother to your boyfriend's child and having to deal with the baby mama certainly has its challenges. Therefore, it's not necessary to add the drama. A woman admits purposely getting pregnant because she was scared her boyfriend would leave her for his child's mother. I might have never been, been in her shoes, but I can assure you of one thing. Being deceitful is most definitely not the way to go about it. It's perfectly normal to have some insecurities in a relationship, especially if there's another woman in the picture. I would always question myself, but that is, and this part's blocked out for some reason, something you should have thought of about embarking in this relationship, and B, oh, okay, I got gotcha, you, and B, not the fault of the innocent child you are bringing into this mess. My advice Talk to your partner about your insecurities and feelings. He's probably the best person to set you straight. Well, that would make too much sense, now would it? Uh, number four. Here's a good one, guys. Number four, he was rich. So I removed the rubber and told him I was on the pill. Have you heard of the woman? Have you heard the one where a woman purposely baby traps a man for financial security? <laughs> this isn't a joke. It happens way more often than you might think. What these women might not consider is that having a baby with a rich man doesn't make them financially secure. It will make her baby financially secure. Richie Rich has no obligation to take care of the baby mama. That child support that he will be mandated to pay will co won't cover all of her life expenses. Yeah, well, the woman will then just use it for her and, get, and have the bare minimum for the baby. That's what will happen. Plus, plus, is there any, any way to start a relationship with the father of your child? I'm not sure he will appreciate being lied to and duped into fatherhood. Many children have single parents, but that doesn't stop them from harmoniously co-parenting. The only one losing in this scenario is the innocent child who needs their parents to have an amicable relationship for his or her well-being. Number three, he never wanted kids, so I told him it was an accident. There's another one. Couples sometimes realize that they want different things from life and that they are on different paths. But nothing can be truer than the discussion of having children. A woman shamelessly admitting to getting pregnant on purpose because she wanted children and he didn't, telling him it had happened by accident. That happens so often, guys. It's unbelievable. No form of birth control is 100% effective except abstinence, she says that in parentheses, and oopsies, babies do occur and it's important for fathers to take responsibility for that child, but it is a completely different ball game when it occurs on purpose. Having a child is a life sentence. Every day, simple tasks become challenges and things we used to take for granted become luxuries. Talk to anybody that has kids and they'll tell you that exactly it's true. So guys, again, listen to what I have to say. You need to plan for their every need and everything is done on their schedules. The lesson here is that you will need help. Forcing your partner to accept this child is no way of going about it. I can guarantee you of that. 
Number two, if I have his baby, he'll be tied to me forever. Cuckoo. Money isn't the only reason some women baby trap men. Status is also an important factor. Status is everything to women, if they can get it. Not all can. Whether they are sports stars, celebrities, or even royalty, men with status are particularly susceptible to being baby trapped. The outcome of doing so is way more lucrative for these deceiving mamas. We might not remember James Marsden, who had a brief fling with Brazilian supermodel Rose Costa after his divorce from his wife of 11 years. But not surprisingly, nine months later pops out baby William Luca Costa Marsden. Although it's on both parties to plan protection, Costa clearly saw Marsden as her meal ticket. Sources say she had a living boyfriend at the time and that she saw herself reaching the peak of her career. What better way to secure her future? See you guys? Alright, number one. He wanted a baby. I didn't. So I took out my IUD without telling him. We don't hear about this one often. Man wants baby. Woman wants man. So she takes out her IUD to get pregnant without telling him. I'm not so sure she got the memo, but a baby can't be returned. That's not to mention the vomiting, weight gain, and stretch marks that are left behind. And did I forget to mention the oh-so-enjoyable contractions and the tiny human being that will pass through your hoo-ha? Now I'm not saying that these are all. Now I'm not saying these are not all worthwhile sacrifices to make when the baby is desired by all parties involved, but it needs to be a mutual decision. Besides, it sounds to me like this man wants a baby badly. What she might not have thought about it is that she will always be a number number two in his eyes. I sincerely hope that this guy is a keeper because I'm not certain that this is a win-win situation. Now, in the countdown there, guys, of 15 different things, obviously, in my opinion, some of them were uh, lower on the list, but obviously some of the ones are higher on the list in terms of common things. But bottom line is this, guys, these are, that's 15 different scenarios that do happen, and, and some of them, I guarantee you, some of you guys have either it's happened to you or you've known guys has happened to. So like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, lesson here is, number one, like I said, always wear protection. Always, guys. Bring your own protection. Wear your protection. I don't care if she says she's on the pill. You can't. I don't care how sweet she is and cool she is. You can't trust it, guys. It's unfortunate, but you got to do that. Number two, provide your own protection. Bring your own condoms. Make sure it's yours. Again, we've heard stories about the poking holes in condoms and all that. And number three, guys, when you're done your deed, dispose of your protection. Flush it down the toilet. Wrap it up in a, in a fucking uh, tissue paper. Put it in your pocket. Uh, whatever you got to do, just don't leave it around. Okay, because I've heard horror stories about this as well. Them inserting it in them. I mean, no joke. So, guys, be careful. Okay, because the last thing you need is, if you don't want a child, is have to then deal with this. And not to mention the mother for 18 some years or longer. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you guys, if you know any guys that this has happened to, or if this has happened to you, if you want to talk about it. The more you talk about it, the more you share, the more we'll help guys out. Because I know, I know a lot of guys come here just to read the comments. So, and be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.